Hello, this is Colin. And on today's tea, I have to admit to you that I believe that I am slipping into decadence. Like the lotus leader, eaters of the ancient times, I've started drinking things that I never thought I would do because I simply dismissed them as just decadent. Well, I found myself yesterday at Granville Island Teas uh, rather crushed by the fact that they don't have blackberry tea. I used to get it from Murchie's. The woman at Murchie's said they never sold blackberry tea, and that's just not true. Well, they don't sell it anymore. And I love blackberry tea. So I went to Granville Island. They don't have blackberry tea. And they stopped ice wine. One of my favorites. So there's no ice wine tea, no blackberry tea. I was feeling rather desperate. And depressed so I bought something I uh, pulled myself I never would and that is chocolate orange black tea now I've looked up the description on the website they don't actually tell you what black kind of black tea it is so anyway it's black tea and chocolate now chocolate is something I always thought was just you know, a bit beyond the pale not a proper thing to have in tea. Then, earlier I tried a dark chocolate, and I quite liked it, actually. I really quite enjoyed that. So I figured, uh, chocolate, orange tea, give it a try. You know, those lovely chocolate oranges you get at Christmas time, which I'm not supposed to eat. So I figured, well, perhaps this will be the next best thing. So here I am trying the chocolate orange black tea. So here we go. Hmm. Well, it's not. It's it's sort of mellower than than I expect. Of course, when you smell a tea, the ingredients come across much stronger than when you drink a tea because it's literally watered down, hot watered down. But um, when you first drink this, the chocolate and the orange are quite hard to detect, really. I mean, it's quite nice. I can sort of taste the chocolate, particularly in the aftertaste, the chocolate. The orange doesn't come across terribly strongly. Hmm. Perhaps it could use a bit more orange rind in it to get the, the proper chocolate orange taste. As it is, it's actually not bad. It does remind me a lot of the dark chocolate black tea, which is also sold by Granville Island. Um, this doesn't seem to be all that different, even though it probably less tastes less chocolatey than the dark chocolate tea that, that I've had. I've given it a good long steep, so... Hmm. Well, perhaps I'll have to postpone my um, falling into complete and utter decadence. But, uh, you know, it's not bad, all told. Not as decadent as I thought it would be. Anyway, cheers.